Right, hey guys, Terrific Coach Lima today with we're back with Evangelion Neon well Neon Genesis Evangelion Episode seven. I enjoyed last episode. I think it, the whole I love the the beam the sniper rifle beam they used, which used that like, the whole power of Japan to power up and it was just so satisfying when it went off. Um and I love the effects of the show, like you know the way we did armor was like melting off the Evangelions and that just looked amazing. Uh, on top of that, I uh, liked and then you had the bit where like he did what his father did, he jumped out of his robot and then tried to free her instantly like, trying to free her. So that was pretty cool. And I like the fact that Sinji didn't have to think too long to get into the Evon, like he just finally um yeah, kind of cool plan to defeat the angels. I've been enjoying the uh, series so far. Thank you for everyone who comments, and I'm glad. I hope you enjoy this video. I know they're not the most for you, but I enjoy doing them, and plus I like to do all the shows. And even getting something I really, like I said, I've always wanted to watch, and being able to finally get around to doing it is nice. And yeah, it's a lot better. Honestly, it's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I do have some gripes with the show. I think like pacing's a bit off sometimes. There's some very extendedly long shots. I know they're like sort of there for a reason. I feel like we do need something like a character what's a bit more chirpy. I don't know to just chirp up the mood a bit. I think like it's very somber which is not a bad thing it does not really that many grabs and i'm gonna be a bit sinji is not as bad as i thought he was gonna be. i'm going into this with a bit more understanding of his personality and what why he's trying to be as understanding as possible like normally i hate his kind of characters but he's he's more understanding like normally characters that are whiny like him don't have the reason to be whiny whereas like he's got an understandable reason to be whiny i don't specifically like him that much but i don't hate him as much as i thought he was go i was going to because i just heard so much crap about him which but i understand his situation so he's not my favorite character and i don't really like him that much but i think he's grown on me the last two episodes so if he can keep on growing on me I, he might end up liking him but he's a pretty good character and hopefully we'll just get a bit more of her yeah i'd say Miss Sato is definitely my favourite character of the show so far, and hopefully she sticks around for quite a while, because I do like her quite a lot. Um, but I expect her to be some sort of character that dies in this. Um, but yeah, she's a good character overall, and I enjoy, I'm enjoying it a lot more than I thought it would, so yeah, let's get into the next episode. Is it? I don't think I would ever start off my breakfast with fucking alcohol. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sinji getting brave. I like it. Even though it's a bit mean. I don't know how she's single, guys. Ooh, that was a poor choice of word there. They just wanted to sigh of her. Don't blame her. These guys, they know what's best for them. How much alcohol does she have? Fucking hell. I do like that. That's a good thing. Fucking hell, he's smiling. He's expressing himself, smiling, mate. Right? See, I could like this Shinji, but I know he might not. For some reason, I know he's going to go back to how he was. But if it stays like that, I'm pretty on board with it. Bit of sarcasm. I like it. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> mate. The big drive. She's not that much of a slob, let's be honest. I've seen way worse. Hey, is he finally going to start exploring stuff? Because I, I like, because one thing about main characters, you learn with the main characters. So if he's ignoring learning stuff, you don't learn much yourself. Oh, Germany. Oh, we mentioned the country. See, I like stuff like this, because I just, I just want to learn more about the outside world. So we're quite limited from Sinji's point of view. We don't really learn much about anything unless he le wants to learn. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So it looks like Germany makes the rope the Evons, which is pretty interesting. Well, they'll get the parts from there at least. It's like XCOM if you guys ever played that way, you budget it for new equipment to try and save the world. It's pretty cool. I know my last episode was like, I want to know more about the other countries. And we're getting it now. Ooh, what was that phase four? I think she's going to be different today. She's going to be serious, isn't she? Ooh. What? That's had to fucking uh, clean up, though. Let's give her that. Someone said the next couple will be quite boring, but so far this has been quite interesting. I just want to know more about... I don't know, maybe it's just me or not. Some people find this boring, but I'd like to know more about what's going on in the world. And if it's more of a personal thing. I don't know if you guys agree with me. But, uh, someone mentioned it would be hard to commentate, but... I don't know, there's a lot of interesting stuff going on. <laughs> hey, this stuff's important. <laughs> Gotta secure those, those budgets, mate. That equipment. Oh, 
安全だと思いますがね制御できない兵器など全くのナンセンスですヒステリーを起こした女性と同じですよ手に負えませんジャブザーそのためのファイルですねジェルフィが超報復的に保護されていてあなた方はその責任を取らずに済みますからジャブジャブジェルフの主力兵器以外あの敵制裁は倒せません ATP とですかそれも今では時間の問題にすぎませんいつまでもネルフの時代ではありませんよ。めい。ふけあへポリティクストフ。ぬるきしゃあ、ピポ。ふけあへ、ひろす、きすん、ダメージ。びんしゃあ、めい。Look, when that robot went rampage, they were set. What the fuck is this? Is this the new Robox? It looks shit. I love how shit that looks compared to the fucking light e v o n s that the nerve have. I hope it fails miserably, mate. It's not gonna work, is it? She knows it's not gonna work. This is gonna look like a class of idiot if it don't work. Ooh. See, she's smart. She knows what she's doing. Oh, he's gonna like such an idiot. This fucking idiot deserved that for being such a cunt at the party. Now, what were you saying about uncontrollable? Expected to die, but I was just saying at the start of the episode, I expected to die, but not this early. I think she's fine though. Is she gonna die, or is this just like close? I don't trust anime. anime. People say that anime characters don't die, but they die quite often, to be fair, especially if it depends on what anime you watch. I'm actually nervous now. Yeah, she don't know how to build tension. I don't have a clue. It's nice when you watch an anime you haven't seen it about. So I don't have it's a fucking clue if she likes survivors. Yeah, she's gonna be fine. Fucking hell, I thought she was gonna pass away then, mate. I'm happy, I didn't want to think of it. I like the character, she's my favourite character so far, so that would have been a fucking shame if she did. Right. We're good, we're good. Now, who's the fucking rat? That's what I want to know. Is it her? Nah, it won't be her. Oh, they did it for budgeting, for fuck's sake. So it makes them look better. They did it, so it makes them look better overall. So they get more funding. I'm guessing that's what's happened. <laughs> Just proves how corrupt the government is, though. Yes. See, you always at the start. 
she says when she says it's her job, she doesn't mean it. That was a really good episode. I like that episode. Yeah, I thought that was a great episode. To be fair, that was one of my one of my more favourite episodes so far. I think yeah, it wasn't definitely a weak episode at all. That was a really good one. I liked. I just liked the amount of information we got. Got a lot of information about budgeting. Like I don't know if you ever played XCOM the game, but it's like you have to sort of balance budget, getting money, funding, save, choosing places to save, where to use your weapons and stuff. And that's what I got feeling of from this episode. I like the idea of like. I don't know, I just like the idea of the budget and then I have to do that. Like, if they did say, I'm assuming they say it up, they sabotage the robot so it will go to ape shit, which makes that guy look bad and it makes them look better, um, which is, and they purposely leaked information on purpose just to secure more budgeting. That's what I got from it. I don't know if that's correct. You can correct me if I'm wrong, I'd be interested. But this episode was really good. I look, We learned a lot more about the outside world with Germany doing the manufacturing and stuff. We learned a bit more about like how budgeting works, what countries are doing what. We did. Didn't learn a hell of a lot, but now because Sinji seems to be more open about learning stuff, we can learn stuff along with him. Whereas before he was certainly ignorant to it, so we don't learn it unless we get another character's point of view. Uh, Miso is uh, being a little savage, she was. I feel a bit bad that they've uh, used it in that way, but yeah, and I love that little end comment at the end where, like, it's a good point. Like, no one else gets to see it, like, what she is, but Sinji. And I think that's a nice little bond they've got there. And yeah, and I think Sinji's realised that now, and it's interesting that. I even I didn't really think about it to be fair that she's not like that around anyone else if you notice that when she's not around Sinji she's a totally different person otherwise yeah it was a great episode I think um, law po politics um, cool cool little scene at the end fuck yeah and I wasn't sure I thought generally thought she might die there because I've not I don't know about anything about the show and people would say like oh anime death aren't they don't know but I was like have there any, you know people say like that oh anime characters hardly ever die it's like you guys have clearly not watched as much anime uh, as some people if you just watch Shonen anime, that tends to be the case. Expecting the same things to happen from her, which would have been a total waste of a character because I think she's by far she's by far the best character in the show uh, so far. And yeah, who is your favorite character in the show, by the way? Try and do it up to this point, like try and be unbiased and not by the end of the series. Up to this point, who was your best character? Because the later on, obviously that changes. But up to this point, like I know most people are gonna say Ray, but like, she's barely in it at the moment. I think like she's got time to grow. And by the end of it, I might like quite a lot, but at the moment, she's not in it that much. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the reaction and peace.